welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do something fun. We are going to make uh, homemade White Castle sliders on the Blackstone. Um, so technically we're not making them till tomorrow, but we have to prep them tonight. Um, so basically you have, you know, if you've ever been to White Castle, you watch them, their burgers go on their flat top griddle frozen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ground beef. And this is 80-20. And we're going to flatten this out to about the thickness of a White Castle burger. So we're going to use our hands at first. They're clean. Get that as flat as we can with that. top with parchment paper. And we're just going to use a rolling pin. And we're just going to roll this out. Trying to get them about a quarter of an inch thick. If not thinner than that. And we're just going to kind of square this up a little bit. Um, I started with about a pound and a half of ground beef. Okay, so now we're going to use our rolls and we're going to cut them into their slider size. Okay, now, one thing you may or may not know about White Castle Burgers is the way they get them to cook fast is they have holes in them. So I'm just using a straw and you're just going to put these holes in them. Get out of there. There we go. straw wasn't working as good as it did last time so my lovely wife grabbed her tip that she uses for cake decorating to shoot icing out and it's working great as you can see we got the hose in here so these hose make the burgers cook faster because once we put them on the blackstone they're gonna cook really fast and Sometimes they cook all the way through without you even having to flip them. If you depend on how thick you make them, sometimes you have to flip them. But a lot of times you don't, they'll just cook all the way through. Now what we're gonna do is put parchment paper back on top. And 
they are going to go to the freezer and they're going to sit there overnight and tomorrow night we'll be eating White Castle sliders for dinner. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, it's the next day and our um, sliders are frozen. So this is what they look like when you take them out of the freezer. They are completely frozen. So the first thing we want to do is get our onions going. Um, they will actually take longer than the burgers. So we just throw down a little oil it up. I've only got two burners going and they are on medium. Looks like rain's coming. Alright, so we want to get these onions down. And we basically want to spread these out kind of into our rectangle. And you just dice up. This is just a, uh, a sweet onion. It already smells so good. It already smells like White Castle. All right, and then add a little beef broth. That gives them a little beef flavor that you get from the White Castle burger. And then some my all-purpose seasoning, which like I said before, is just salt, pepper, and garlic. Apparently our next door neighbor's cutting his grass. This lawnmower sounds like it's this about to die. This lawnmower sounds like it's uh, <laughs> on its last leg. So we're just going to let these onions cook until they start to soften up and get translucent. In the meantime, we're going to break up our burgers. King's Hawaiian. We couldn't really find the White Castle buns or something similar. Um, I don't know if there's, if there's a bread shortage. Just want to make sure it's the right size. Onions are starting to caramelize. That's pretty color. Now, we're just going to start putting the burgers down, right on top of the onions. Get you a good serrated knife and just cut them in half. Always use a serrated knife for bread. If not, you'll smash it. We do a lot of camping and you've got one of them small camping black stones. This is a great recipe because you don't need a whole lot of stuff. Just some ground beef that you can freeze ahead of time and make. And then your onions, some buns and some cheese. You don't have to use the beef broth. They're still gonna be good. It's just the beef broth kind of gives them more of that White Castle flavor. And if you don't like onions, just use beef and cheese. You can see, they're starting to cook. We'll flip them here in a little while. Once I see some brown coming up through the holes and on the edges, then we'll flip them. But it doesn't take long. 
And basically you flip them one time and then you go ahead and put the cheese and your bun on it and then let it sit there for a few minutes and it'll steam that bun a little bit. Go ahead and hit the meat with the salt, pepper, and garlic. I really wish you guys could smell this. And it doesn't get any easier, guys. Just throw down some onions, throw down the meat, and you just cook them till they're ready to flip. I mean, the prep is a little bit of work as far as, you know, rolling out the ground beef, getting it right, thickness, and then, you know, putting the holes in it and cutting it and freezing it, but it doesn't take that long. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start flipping these. I'm telling you right now, this it smells just like White Castle out here right now. It does. Zoom in here. I'm gonna let these go a few more minutes, then we'll flip them again, see how they look on the other side. And then we'll put the cheese and buns on and be really close to ready to eat. Right, now we put our buns on. Maybe White Castle should move to Hawaiian rolls. Oh, absolutely. For there. <laughs> Everybody should use Hawaiian rolls. They make full-size Hawaiian hamburger buns. Yeah. Everybody should use those. I mean, I like the pretzel buns. I like the brioche buns, but it's hard to beat the Hawaiian buns. Great hot dog buns, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Time to get these off. Welcome back. We are in the house now. I think we just dodged a storm. Uh, rain is coming, so um, this is what we've got. Look at them. Look at them. They're good. All right. Can I grab one? No. You started without me. All right. Here's mine. All right. Now. I want a pickle. Pickles. Uh, White Castle uses the just generic hamburger Pickles, no ridges, no ruffles, just plain Jane pickles. So that's what we got. So there's pickle. She's going ketchup. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that first. My first I'm going bite. plain. First bite. This is what we got right here. Here we go. Mm. That is so good. Tastes like White Castle with a better bun. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really does. Um, yeah, so you know how when you, you know, you bite into a White Castle, the first thing you get is that beefy, meaty flavor. You have that with this. It's where the, you know, the juices from the onions and the meat soak into the bun. So every bite you get that flavor. And where the where the onion burgers is cooked on top of the onions, then you know the fat and the flavor from the beef goes down into the onions. And then you put the buns on top and it soaks it up too. And I mean, you're left with an amazing, soft, squishy, delicious. And you don't have to drive anywhere to get it. No. And we made a dozen mm -hmm. for about $9. Where if you go to White Castle and buy a dozen, it's gonna cost you probably 20. So um, it's not a huge savings, but they're better. But these are better, yeah. They're better. They're a lot better. But yeah, give these a shot at home. And again, just like everything else, if you don't have a Blackstone, if you've got a big enough skillet, you know, you can yeah. do it in your house. Um, it's quick, easy. It's good. It's fun. And um, especially if you have kids, they'll love them. So um, be really good for parties where you're feeding a whole lot of people because you can make a lot of these really quick. So if you like, this, if you like this video, um, please hit the like button. 
subscribe to the channel. Please share, send it to your friends, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and um, we will see you again on the next one. Thanks.